there and welcome to this par four first hole. Let's get some fresh air, okay? Okay, John, thank you. So the first thing we do on every hole here is uh, play an unrushed game and uh, take a look at the flyover. And as we get to the green here, we're gonna do our best to uh, pick a spot. Wind looks like it's down a little bit. Looks like I want to be about uh, six feet uh, under the hole at about the four o'clock position. So we'll see how that works out. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the uh, option button, uh, pause, <coughs> take a look at the green, <coughs> see the flag is <coughs> on the limp side, maybe a few mile an hour wind. So, you know. Roll of thumb, if it looks like that, I'm, I'm going to call it four miles an hour, which is uh, four miles an hour of wind to uh, account for. And uh, rule of thumb, again, is uh, four mile an hour of wind is about a four yard adjustment to something. So, to there. Back to the T. Next thing we're going to do is hit our circle button get the uh, overhead of the hole itself. Things are pretty straight here, not a lot going on. Uh, we got some fairway traps up there, about the 250 range. Uh, our 265-yard carry driver should have no problem with that. Uh, on the other side, it's a, you know, it's for a par four, it's on the short side, 411. This is when I first make a consideration about whether to take a driver or the three wood at it, uh, depending on what club I want to take into the green. So uh, at 411, 405, don't know yet how hard the fairways are or the green is, but uh, I'm thinking I want to, if it's 411, I want to be six feet below the hole. So now we're looking at a 409. So whatever club I want to hit into there, say 409, uh, thinking I want to leave myself, uh, well, you got to pick a club at this point. Uh, what do you want to approach that uh, that green with? Uh, do you want to pitch it in uh, with, the, with a 75-yard pitch? Uh, do you want to go in there with a 120-yard pitching wedge, a 95-hole uh, sand wedge? Uh, this is what you have to consider, but things are on the straight side here, so I am think I'm going to take my driver at it and uh, get myself to the right side of that fairway as best as I can for a better angle into that flag, so that's the first thing. Again, things are on the straight side. Uh, sight lines off this tee are pretty good. Uh, you can use your unused stick, uh, press it once. Use a little better angle out there, press it again. A lot of times, uh, depending on the elevation the whole of this hole, you'll get a little better view. You hit it again, and you kind of see what's up. So I wanted to take this up the right side, <coughs> check the wind again, pick it up a little bit. Okay, now we're at the six to eight range. So from this, uh, from this view, uh, you see my aiming rectangle there, and uh, so I'll center it on where I want to be. And uh, when I'm thinking uh, eight mile an hour, I think the inner uh, diameter of that rectangle from the inner edge of the one side to the inner edge of the outside. So I'm just going to move it over that much and hit it straight. Put a little draw on that but it should be okay. All right, it rolled nice. out to 285, which Looks is like, nominal. Uh, I'd say around 110 yards so, or so uh, to the pin. It rolled out to 285, so that driver rolled out 20 yards uh, from its nominal carry distance, which, which is normal on a uh, you know, mid-range speed hardness uh, fairway. Okay. I see I'm out uh, 110 yards, 13 feet up, so we're going to call that uh, 114. Uh, so 110 is what I want. And that 
three location, or the pin location there, you know, that needs to be carried. You're, you're not going to really take a uh, uh, pitch and roll at this here. You want to land it. So, uh, let's say 110 here. We want that 110. But we don't want it to, well, here actually we can. We can back our club off to the putter. And in the upper right corner, you will see that it's a 171 feet. That's your indication of green speed, which is on the high side. You know, it's not 187, but it's, it's, it's up there. So uh, we need to come in with a club that's not going to uh, keep rolling. So my choice here is to take the sand wedge, 95. And what we're going to do is hit our LS to shot modifier. First thing we're going to do is going to move it down a hair, the dead in the backspin on that wedge. And then we want to add about another 10 yards, which is about a quarter of the way to that next red line down, which is 145. So somewhere around there we should be okay. And as I said, we want it to land about the 4 o'clock position below the hole. We're going to check the wind again. And it's still blowing us down about 6 to 8, I think. That's, that's, what, I, that's what I'm going to call it. Now we're going to hit the unused stick once, twice. And we're going to take that rectical. And we're going to move it over inside. And because we're taking a high lofted club, we're just going to give it just a little bit more. We should be able to clear that tree. No problem. Let's see what happens. Hit it straight. Nice. 102. <clears throat> My friend North Beach has uh, decided to join the fray. Okay, we'll play along with him. Okay, center to fairway. That's okay. He's put a little bit of a fade on that. I don't know if he wanted to do that. Okay, okay a 23-footer from, from here. Okay, well, I wanted a 6-footer, and I got a 22-footer, so let's see if we can make this putt. First thing we're going to do is put the flag in the hole with the square button. Hit the unused stick once. We're going to set our marker. It's 23 feet to the flag, so we're going to move our marker up so it says 23 feet. We're going to swing it over to the left. See, it's two inches down there, so we know that uh, it's going to be right to left. Or if it's one inch down over here and two inches down over here, it's going to go from right to left once you get near the hole. And we see if we keep moving over there, we're at level. So there's a two inch drop in this area, which is that works out to about two feet of uh, motion. So uh, there. There's your two feet short. And there's one foot, two foot, three foot. Now we're going to get low. And this is a fast green, so the object here is to uh, see our Amy marker and the ball, and we want to hit the ball to about 40% of the distance between the ball and that marker. So just visualize uh, about the halfway point and a little bit sure. Take a couple of practice back swings there just to try to feel the rhythm of it. It's nice and smooth with my stick, so I think I'm in the right place. Not terrible for a lag. I could have hit a little harder.
He's ahead of me on this. That's why you're not seeing any. Uh, Four feet. Let's do this. Any judgment uh, setting it up like I do. Okay. So we're four feet away. Even marker says we're four feet away. It's an inch down. Stick the flag in. Get that low view. Take a look at it from the other side. And it, it's still a, it's still a bit of a right to left break. So okay. So anyway, so it's an inch down. So that's like a foot. So that's where you want to put the aiming marker. You already know it's a little bit right to left. So once you get it to that point, you know you still got to get it out to the right edge of the cup. And you still want to hit it easy. You still want to only hit it about halfway here. Oh, so close. And it was still a mess. All right, nice little two-foot putt. Okay. Next hole coming up. Take our bogey. Take our take our medicine. Okay, that's one hole. I have to pause here for a second.